Hello friends and welcome to Studio Sundays where I hang out in the studio, film a video, and then I post it on a Sunday. My name is Paige, I'm an artist, I guess, and I work for a CEO named Blue. <laughs> Today in the studio we're going to be adding some color to the mushroom bird feeder that we worked on the last few episodes. And that's pretty much all we're going to do today, so let's get into the stuffs. Alright friends, so here is our mushroom bird feeder. And I think what I'm going to do first is, since we didn't do the bark texture on the stems yet, I'm going to add that. Let me give you a zoom here. Bam! The tools we're going to use here is, it's a bunch of wires taped to a chopstick. I made this myself. I bought this guy. I don't know, I feel like this, the handmade chopstick one is better. Maybe because it's made with love. So what we do here is we scratch the wires against the branch and it kind of looks like bark. That's pretty much it though. It's gotta be weary where the wires go because they stick into places you don't want them to. So that's a branch. I'm gonna go and do the rest of these and then I'll be right back. Bam! Alright, we got all our branches. Now I'm just going to go over everything with a sponge, clean up any of the scratch marks I made other places. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back friends, and I cleaned all this up. And one thing I need to add before I forget is the holes for the wire. So let me get that wire and see how big the holes need to be. Blue. Blue, I'm a little busy doing my job. All right, so here's the wire we're gonna use. And I also got some of these crimper guys. Let me show you here. Have the wire crimped down here and looped up there. And then it's gonna go through the top. So the hole really doesn't have to be that big. I'm just gonna use this tool here. And spin a hole in there. Well, your life's not that hard. And then I will add one to the mushroom cap. And I want to make sure it's kind of center. Alright, we got our holes added. Alright, now we can start adding some color to things finally. And I think I'm going to start with the cap because it's the most exciting, I think. So let me just put this away. Alright, so here is our mushroom cap. Um, get a little spin there for you. And I think we're going to start with the ribbage. Just give you a little sneak peek there, there's the ribbage. I'm just gonna go in with this white stain, mix it in, see how it looks. I don't want it to be completely white, and I don't want to lose that texture, so the slip is pretty thin. Okay, so we added white slip to the bottom of the ribs here. So I think I might let that dry a little bit. While we're waiting for that to dry, let's work on the stem. Alright, so here's our stem. And I think I might just do the same thing, add that white slip. But I might kind of want to do it in lines so it adds kind of a little bit of a texture. I don't know. We're just trying things, my dudes. No need to worry. It just kind of looks white, doesn't it? Maybe I'll rub some of the slip away or I could just rely on the underglaze details to really bring in some of that definition. All right so I added white to the drapings and then I think I'm just gonna add white to the whole friggin thing. Definitely gonna do the branches in underglaze because I don't want the texture to be lost. Also doing the caterpillars and the ladybugs in underglaze. Let me just go paint the rest of this and then I'll be right back. Alright, while well, we're waiting for me to do that, let's check in and see what the dude alias today. <laughs> He's a truly boy, that one. Alright friends, we got it all painted white here. I painted the caterpillar and the ladybug and stuff also just because they are in the way anyways. Now what I might do is just go in with a more aggressive brush and a little bit of water. Rebrush the glaze in so maybe I can get some line definition. This is working. Let's 
not looking bad though. It's kind of looking cool. I think now would be a good time for the question of the day. Today's question is... If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I think mine would be raspberries. I love raspberries more than anything. They're delicious and nutritious. So let me know in the comments below, my dudes. All right, I think that's good for the stem. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. And I'm just gonna go with the sculpt. And I'm just rubbing off some of the slip. All right, there we go. Now what I might do is go in with this brown slip. Make sure these are tight before you, uh, before you shake them. Been there, been there before. I want this to be a very thin coat of brown because I don't want it to look brown. I want it to look more beige. But I'm just going to outline these corners and stuff. So add those lines and then I'm going to go in and blend them so they don't look like lines. Yeah, kind of like that. It's a little too brown. So I'm going to go over it with the white. Give it some highlights here. All right, I think that's pretty good for now. And I might just take the same brown, do a few lines in the stem, but very sparingly and very thin. Well, I wonder if I, if I finish this and put it outside and then the birds are just like, no, we don't want this. We didn't ask for this. I think that looks pretty good. What do y'all think? And once the caterpillars are in there, all colored in, should be looking nice and slick, my dudes. Birds will think they're real nice. I think I'm just going to set this aside now, and we'll work on the, the cap again. All right, well, we're waiting for me to do that. Let's hear a message from our very own CEO, Blue. Shh. advises us to get outside and into trees. All right, so we got our mushroom cap again here. And it's dried a little bit. I don't know if I want to go in and redo all the lines. So I'm just going to try it and see if I like it. All right, so I just did all those lines there. And I don't think I like it. So <laughs> let's uh, just go over it with some white slip again. I had a feeling I wouldn't like it. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing we did with that stem there and I'm just going to add some of that brown, thin it down and blend it out. Let's try adding some brown just a little bit. I might add it more towards the middle here. We add a little bit of white over top. It's really hard to tell what this is gonna look like once it's fired because the slip never looks the same. Okay, so you can't really tell much has changed, but I think I might just leave it there and then go in and do some details with some underglaze. Now I'm gonna flip it over and do the fun side, but I can't do that because this is wet. It's almost dry anyways. You know what we could do? Blowtorch it, but that's a little excessive. I might blowtorch it. Safety first. Just gonna do a light torching. I think that's pretty good. Now let's flip it over on that sponge. All right, so I think I'm just gonna sponge it a little bit. The top got a little damaged in all the chaos. This guy's head got squished because we've been setting him on his head. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. Can't win them all. All right, now I think we're just gonna add some of the chili pepper red. I also have a lobster red, but it's, it's not as red as this red. I want it to be this red. So let's shake that up everywhere but the uh, dots here. Alrighty, so there's our first coat. I think I might do two or three coats and remind me to re-drill this hole because I keep filling it in with slip. So I think I might do a few more coats and I'll be, I'll be right back. All right, so I really just went over the whole friggin' thing in the red because it was easier. And now I might just sponge off some of these circles just a little bit. All right, got all those sponged off. Now all I'm gonna do is add the white. I want it to be pretty thick. So I might do a few layers of that too. 
Not of me. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Hope everyone is doing well and healthy in the world. I know it's rough out there. Just gotta try our best, my dudes. That's all we can do. All right, so that's just one layer of the white. I think I might do two or three. So I'm gonna do those and then I'll be right back. All right, friends, here is a mushroom cap all slipped. And I think that's all we're gonna do on this today. All right, friends, so here is our stem and our mushroom cap all slipped and prepped for some underglaze details. I would love to show you guys everything put together, but the slip is just too wet and delicate, so you're just gonna have to use your imagination. Imagine them together. I'm gonna set all this aside to dry, and then we can do some underglaze details in the next episode. Thanks for hanging out with me today in the studio. Really appreciate it. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves and each other. I hope to see you in my next episode. Spin. Sit. Shake. Say goodbye to all your friends.